Hey, uh, good afternoon. Welcome back to uh, my channel, everyone. Um, something a little bit different today. Uh, we are recording rather than going live. Um, I've kind of thought since there's usually like three quests per episode, um, I would pre-record these videos and put them up um, three times a week. Um, so that way the videos are a little bit on the shorter end and I can cut out any dead space. There is a lot of just walking around in this game. Um, also... I kind of want to get back to Hollow Knight for some of my live streams. I think they're probably a bit more interactive. And I, you know, I still haven't got P5 because I am just awful. Anyway, um, also a couple things different. Um, you can see I'm not using the inbuilt mic. I've got my Elgato Wave 3. And I've tried playing around with some of the OBS settings. So on the one hand, if it works, it's probably going to be better. If On the other hand, I don't know what this is like as I'm recording it, so I won't be able to find out until I'm actually done. <laughs> so let's hope it works first time. Um, now, at the end of episode three, that was quite eventful actually, um, Jacques Peru shot himself in the head and I couldn't uh, save him. Um, we found out, at least ostensibly, um, from our mother that uh, Lord Mortimer and uh, so Gregory Holmes are both demons, which is ah insane. And then also, um, oh geez, um, the Duchess's sister Emma is alive, um, and they're having a standoff. And then Emma got shot again by her sister Emily. That was that was pretty insane. And our mother was on the ground, and then she just got up, and we lost our hand. Another reason why I want to record these rather than do these live is. <laughs> I was actually pretty devastated after that stream that I lost my hand. That's a puzzle that I really wanted to uh, solve, but you know, I didn't want to waste everyone's time while I was thinking. So if we come up with good puzzles like this again in the future, I'll be able to think it out a bit and um, cut that out of the recording. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get into episode four, quest 11, or the first quest of episode four. So that's this safe game here. Jeez, I'm so dev about my hand. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's put the books up. So I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us too. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions. So this is kind of just recapping what happened in the last episode. Even realizing it, I became lost. Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Louis. You. I might just see if I can turn the game audio down just a little bit. Uh... See your weaknesses better. If you don't want your foes to use them against you. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all, and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. Okay, so this is the part where I lost my hand. Filthy swine! I'm going to open this damn door and skin you alive! You're not going to get the better of us! Mother? Louis, you've come around. How do you feel? Uh, I, it hurts. Mother? I, I, I can't feel my arm. Yes, Louis, you... I had to cauterize it. That's with because what you I have find. no arm. Where's my arm? We'll get through this, Louis. Don't worry. I think I found a solution. You'll see. <sighs> we gotta leave. No, don't, don't put your arm in there. Louis, we can't leave without it. It's our last chance. Oh, she gonna lose her other arm? I need arm? to see this through to the end. I must do it. No, don't do it. By the way, um, you know if. If the audio is cut fine We've or done it, anything Louis. I need to change, just let me know in the meal. comments. Come on, up you get. I'll Wait, help you. Why did it work for her? Easy does it. You've lost a lot of blood. <sighs> and now what? Let's take what we came for. 
Speaking of, hold on. Like, oops, character. I just want to see what what does this do? Effort point. Oh, geez, that's really bad. Actually, plus one. Wait, I've got to know what I did wrong. That is one fearsome mechanism. In fact, if I hadn't watched you beforehand, I would never have found the right combination. Tell me, where did I go wrong? The three nails? Yes, it, it's true. They let you open the iris. Yes, but you still need to find the right theme, don't you? The fresco was a trap. Apart from the fresco, everything pointed to the crucifixion. The things that make it possible to activate the mechanism are associated with the crucifixion. The cross to activate the mechanism, and the nails to choose a date. Okay, um... Wait, the f I know the first? Damn. I was sure I'd figured out how the lock worked. Of course, Louis. But you still had to choose the right theme from the start. It was the crucifixion. I matched its symbol, the crown of thorns, to the place where Christ was nailed to the cross, Golgotha. Then I had to link the crown of thorns to the date of the crucifixion, according to the exegesis. But I failed to understand the first time. With that theme in mind, I chose 26M, which represents the 26th of March. To conclude, I can't remember if we did that. I or had not. to use the armillary sphere to find the moon corresponding to the day of the crucifixion, which turned out to be in the first quarter. All that was left to do was to link all those elements on the same axis. So we had those elements. We just, I, I just didn't, didn't know how to move the irises on the on the on the puzzle. The crypt. January 23rd, 1793. But Burning where bridges. Are we? I don't know, but we better not hang around. Oh, oh, hold on. Um, yeah, it's worth curing my negative alterations here. Be careful, Mother. As if me saying that will make any difference. Knowing Mortimer, I wouldn't be surprised if he rigged his crypt with traps. So you think the door is not enough? Do you want to wager your other hand? You've got a point there. We have to find that weapon. What do you know about the Holy Lance, Louis? The what? The Lance of Longinus the Centurion. Oh, okay, this is a time one. Here we go. Um, ah, right, I remember. So this is uh, occultism. Yes. Here we go. The centurion that pierced the sight of Christ with his lance. That weapon naturally became a holy relic. Exactly. Seriously? You don't really believe that fable, do you? Every fable is founded on true events. I'm not saying that everything adds up, but imagine if it really did exist. Very well. Now what? Well, now you know what you need to find. Pardon? I have to get to the wharf to prepare our departure. Let's get off this cursed island as quickly as we can. We shall come back when we are ready and armed. But hang on. Louis, let's first get to safety. We shall come back when we have the upper hand. Fear not. You the take upper care hand. of getting Jeez. the lance. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. Hang on. At least tell me everything you know about this lance. But I have never seen it. There's nothing else I can say, Louis. Well, you can always go snooping around Mortimer's study. I remember seeing paintings of Longinus there. Um, no, I do want to know why she shot Emma. Hang on a second. What's the matter? Why did you shoot Emily's sister? Do you really think now is the right time for this? I think so, yeah. Oh, that's going to use both. Um, is she, what is she, uh, me into? Um, jeez, what's her name? Sarah, so does she, uh, to be discovered. Yeah, I'm gonna I insist. want to know, Mother. Why not? Why did you betray her? Listen, Louis, I don't think you've really understood my interest in the Al Azif. It's not just simple curiosity about some old relic. You tried to kill her. And I had no choice for crying out loud. It must not fall into the hands of the demons, or we are all doomed, don't you see? 
Listen, I don't know exactly what it contains, but I prefer to be one step ahead. If they want it, there must be a reason. And even if I don't know what it is, I want to stop them for safety's sake, no matter what. Nothing will stop you if I understand correctly. Not Enough, even Louis. If you could see the extent of their power as I do, then you would understand what I'm saying. All right, we'll do it your I'd way. I probably agree with it personally, actually. If, if they, they actually find are you in possession of the lance, they won't let you get away with it. Choose only one Ooh, and hide stuff. it under your jacket so you don't get caught with it. Then run and meet me on the wharf. And if I get caught? If they catch you in possession of the lance, we're all doomed. Do you understand? Perfectly. Good. And go talk to Piaget. He's the one who probably knows the most about this. Hey. I must find the Holy Lands. That's my notes. Okay. Oh, jeez. Um. This is a really big crypt under the island. Hey. Oh! Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. So, that's kind of uh, weird. Alright. I'm going to explore through here just for a little bit. Ah, here we go. Uh, Devil's Thorn is full. That's right. I'm really hoping for some royal jelly though. Flavius Aetius. Um, doesn't really matter which one I do, I suppose. Flavius Aetius. The one they call the last of the Romans. He was assassinated by his own emperor, who was jealous of all his victories. But how did he end up here? Uh, I think it starts with mm, and ends in Ordama. We'll answer that question. <laughs> the sarcophagus has been ravaged by time. It's sort of ageless, I guess. It's entirely sculpted. Oh, it's cuneiform? Cuneiform? Linguistics plus one and oh, that's right. Well, we can see that this lance has a particular spear shape. It is coated in gold. You can distinguish oh, it's got a the fish symbol, symbol of as well. fish engraved on the tip, barely noticeable. Hmm. Alright, let's take this. There are several spearheads. I need to find clues to pick the right one. Piaggi knows something about it for sure. Oh wait, he didn't actually pick it up? Okay, so I think... Oh, jeez, what's this? Royal Jelly. Okay, so I think what we should do is get out of the tomb and go see Piaggi and then come back. St. Longinus. Let's take a closer look at his lance. Oh, hey. So, I still haven't found Piaggi, but... I didn't notice this before. It is shaped like a leaf, like, like the real lance, maybe. How can I be sure? Okay, so we should do the vigilance. Only cost two. Hey, looks like there's a symbol engraved on the tip. Yeah, it's the fish. Yes, a fish. The Christian fish, no doubt. It can't be a coincidence. It it must have been done on purpose. Huh. Good thing I took a closer look. Okay. Well, I haven't found Piaggi, but maybe I can do that. I'll go back to the crypt and we'll try to have a look at the spear there. <laughs> well, here we can see this lance has a leaf shape, is gold rimmed, and a fish is engraved on the tip. There are several spearheads. I need to find clues to pick the right one. Oh, geez. So I still Piaggi need to find... about it for sure. Okay, so I still need to find Piaggi. <laughs> See you in a minute. 
Good evening, Mr. President. Good evening. I'm back on the trail of my mother again. I don't have time to explain, but would you know anything about the Holy Lance? I... Ah, uh, that's good news. But be careful, Louis. You might end up getting noticed. Do you know anything or not? No, I regret I don't. But why not ask von Wallner? Theology is his field, after all. That's an idea. In that case, I'll try and find him. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. You're right. Thanks for everything, Mr. President. See you later. Nothing helpful from uh, Washington. Oh, so Piaget's room was here the whole time. It was grayed out. Why would the game do this to me? I've been searching for ages. <laughs> the Cardinal's not in his room. I bet he went back to stuffing himself. Well, it might be worth having a bit of a look around. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Hmm. My dear Giuseppe, poor health forbids me from joining you. Please thank Sir Gregory for his invitation to Lord Mortimer's. I'm convinced you'll be able to strengthen our agreements. Hey, I'll go check the balcony as well. Let's keep searching everything. Amber crystals. Oh, nice. There we go. The lying girl by Boucher. Here's a painting of That's a little bit cheeky. eroticism. <laughs> I wonder what Piaggi must think of this. Great. Honey. Let's have a look at his personal papers. Of course, it's in Latin, the language of the church. Plus four. Um, probably worth using one of these. All those hours of learning Latin declensions are going to pay off in the end. Mother will be proud. Now this could be interesting. Let's say a sancte, various representation criteria, of which are shown the most common throughout the centuries, and in different forms. If Piaggi's notes are anything to go by, the weapon I'm looking for is shaped like a tapered spear. Well, that should help me identify it. Wait. Jeez, okay, that's not helpful. Because now I've got a uh, shape of a leaf and a sh uh, shape like a spear. Hmm. Anything else out here? Cardinal's not in his room. I bet he went back to stuffing himself. All right. After all this, we found Piaggi out here. <laughs> Jeez. Push him off. Push him off now. Your Eminence, would you have a moment to spare? Not now, Louis. Please, leave me alone. I beg your pardon. I want to be alone. Very well. I. I'm only searching for information about the Lance of Longinus, the soldier. If you, you could- are not listening to me. You are playing with fire. I heard you speak to Mr. Von Volner about it, and I was wondering if you could tell me He's something about it. At all. That was a private conversation. How could I have known that he was listening to us? Hmm. I see what you mean. Louis, don't push it. Leave while you still can. Your Eminence, are you all right? He's going to try to kill himself. Your Eminence, are you with me? Can you turn around, please? What do you want to know about the Holy Lance, Louis? Your Eminence, turn around. This is the weapon used by a Roman centurion on the very day Christ was nailed to the cross. Look at me. Longinus thrust his lance in the right side of Jesus. Please. As you wish. Oh, okay. It's normal. Oh! 
His Got nose it. is bleeding. So, you are looking for the Holy Lands of Longinus, are you? Jeez, that takes eight. Your eminence, you're worrying. He's a, uh, calm What is water. happening to you? Nothing, Louis. Just a moment of weakness, but I'm better now. I am all ears. You are looking for the lands. You should know, you are not the only one. No, I'm Lord pretty aware Mortimer of that. <laughs> has spent a good part of his life and his fortune trying to find it. Never will he let you have it. But tell me, before going any further, have you spoken to anyone else about this? Uh, running out of time, it's gonna cost five, so might as well use this as well. No, no, your eminence. I thought you'd be the only one able to help me with it. Your words lack conviction, Louis. If I'm asking you all these things... Oh, jeez. That did not go well. own good, you know. You have no reason to lie to me. Imagine you find it, which I don't doubt, given how resolute you are when you've got something on your mind. Then what? What are you going to use the lance for, exactly? Uh, to protect myself. I need it. Why? You won't understand. <sighs> Try me, Louis. I need to protect myself with it. Louis, I thank you for your sincerity. That was I shall answer weird. you about Longinus. You deserve to be told. His spear headed What's with his discoloration on the skin at the back there? Pierced the side of the Messiah. His blood gushed out, covering the head of the lance. It was covered in the blood of Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Your Eminence. You are welcome. Be careful, Louis. You are on a perilous path. Don't follow Sarah's demons, my boy. Don't delve too deeply into her delusions or you won't be able to come back. The demons that she is frantically trying to drive away are in her own mind. Take good care of yourself. God keep you. Okay, so now we've done that. Um... All right, we've got to find more Blue's Clues. So here we go. I think we should visit Von Volnia first. It seems like he isn't here. Hey, he's not in the room, but I could probably have a look around and try to find some of these uh, blues clues. Oh, was there a lot? Oh, there's a hammer. What a mess. Looks like Volnor was interrupted. Let's read the letter. Uh, I know you're trying to find what happened to Elizabeth, but it's getting out of hand now. Oh, Elizabeth, yeah, she's dead, mate. She's super dead. Looks a lot like straw, and he's drawn something in a hurry on this sheet. Straw on his desk, as if to, as if to protect something fragile. Yes, someone must have packed something away here. I get the feeling that I've seen that somewhere before. Doesn't matter which one I do. Um. I've seen occult inscriptions like this before. They're not very common. As a matter of fact, I've only seen them once before, around the Lock of Alizif. Okay. Uh... I think there was a chest with um, stuff. No, I can't do it. Nothing for me to steal by the looks. Oh, what's this? A chemistry set. That's not surprising coming from Von Wolner. 
So, let's see what Volner has in his bookcase. Uh, a few works on religions, two scientific essays about human thought. Most of these works are on alchemy. Longini Militis Fabulum. Ha! Ah, what have that we sounds, here? Sounds uh, like it could it be useful. It looks like a kind of biography on Longinus the Centurion. Truly, Volner has done everything he can to get information about that lance. Mm, I'd better keep this one though. Oh, someone's here. Who is this? Dirty shit. Damn. That's all I need. Maybe he knows something about the lance. What happened? You, you've you lost. Yes. Oh, how horrible. Your hand. I, to be more like mother. It's an accident. To tell you the an truth, accident? I... accident? Are you joking? You have lost your hand, Louis. <laughs> We've got to do something. It's been done. I've been given treatment, rest assured. I admit that I didn't truly realize the consequences of my recklessness. Oh, he's so, so, he's so cavalier about it. Yes, yes, of course. But Louis... My it's hand. your hand! I know. Please, look, there's nothing I can do about it. I know, I made a mistake, but it's too late now. It was an accident. I only wanted to inspect the place to find my mother and, well, I fell into a trap. The result is appalling, I, I grant you that, but at least I can guarantee that we're all perfectly safe here on this island. And you joke about it? Jeez. Am I dreaming? <laughs> no, sir, but let's be realistic. So many world leaders brought together in one place, and there are no safeguards? The error indeed stems from my recklessness. I went looking here and there and searched my mother and I had an accident. It's my own fault. Fine. We will drop this uh, incident. <laughs> Why are you here? What are you doing in my room? Oh, confrontation. Uh, I better just check to see if I know any of his um, uh, diversion. Sir, perfect timing. I, I was looking for you. You were looking for me? Well, here I am. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you might help me. You're the one looking for the lance. No, Don't I... take me for a fool. You are looking for the holy lances. Yes, that's true. Wait, was he, what was he vulnerable to? Diversion. Huh. Oh, well, that's fine. What's the matter? You seem completely panicked at the idea I might be interested in this relic. I... No, no, that's not true. What are you so afraid of? I'm not afraid. You know Mortimer's got it. So you're not worried that I'd give it back to him. What are so you? So why are you so terrified of me being able to find it? You have no idea what it is you're looking for. I what have are some you idea. playing at, Richet? Mortimer's the one who has that cursed lance. How long have you been looking for it? Uh, I see. You want it, and so you plan to steal it from Mortimer. For a long time. Isn't that right? Why, you little swine! You're planning to give it to Sir Gregory. Uh, You're no. looking to double-cross me and Piaggi too. What on earth is he talking about? Jeez. Uh... <laughs> no, you jackass. <laughs> Make up for Piaget's mistakes. I actually don't know what I should do here. Hmm. All I was right, going to say, no, right, you jackass. Down. I don't give a damn about getting you and Sir Gregory's bad books. Look at yourself, goddammit. You're ridiculous. Shut it. Don't think you're going to fool me so easily. If you're not looking for the lance for Sir Gregory, then why do you want it? Uh, let's, uh... Make up for Piaget's mistakes. Mr. Von Volner, would you be so kind as to calm yourself down, please? All I'm trying to do is make amends for his eminence's errors. Sir Gregory should surround himself with better people, if you want my opinion, but Piaget is a friend of my mother's. What? I, you want to help, Piaggi? I just told you, that's what my mother would do if she was here. I heard you in the corridor, and mm, he seemed to be in serious trouble because of the lances. I'm only trying to help him. Ah. All right, Louis. I thought you were trying to manipulate me. But and please, I was. <laughs> excuse me. I seem to have I worked. got a little bit uh, carried away. But you can't get ahead by staying in the shadows on a case like this. 
There are already several of us searching for the Lance of Longinus. And it would be smarter to pool our information. Unfortunately, I've barely made any progress. I'm still trying to find out what the original Lance really looked like. Ah, let me reassure you, we've all been there, given the number of copies there are in existence. It also took us quite some time to discover its true shape. What is Many its true shape? the central part of the head of the lance to be covered in gold. Okay. Whereas, in truth, its center is made of an alloy of copper and iron. That does make sense. In those times, a centurion wouldn't have any chance of possessing a lance made of gold. Ah, oh, that excuse is the me. perversion of Christian idolatry. A copper lance could not have been noble enough to pierce the side of Christ. Anyway, thank you, sir. You're welcome, Louis. But keep me posted as to your research. We're bound to end up recovering it. I'm counting on it. See you later. I managed to get the biography of Longinus' Maturian. Let's see what it can teach me. Okay, cool. Hmm. We got some leads now. An interesting passage here tells me that the lance is engraved with the symbol of the first Christians. The fish. Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. The Bible must mean the lance which finally took the life of Christ. The Gospel of St. John is the most detailed on the subject of the crucifixion. When they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they broke not his legs. But Ooh. one of the soldiers with a shimmering lance pierced his side, and forthwith there came out blood and water. And he that saw it bore witness, and his record is true. And he knoweth that he saith true, that ye might believe. A shimmering lance? What is this telling me? Find a clue of what the lance looks like. The medieval hermetic traditions evoked the idea of using noble materials for relics, which the monasteries often made themselves in order to attract pilgrims. Of course, they had to inspire greatness. So here, we might think of gold, whereas a centurion well, knew that could much. not have hoped for anything better than copper at the time. The true lance would not have been a luxurious weapon. Okay. Oh, I was such a gospel. The Bible just must quickly. mean the lance which finally took the life of Christ. The four gospels each give an account of the death of Christ. Let's see what they can tell me about the lance. There's nothing about the lance in this account of the crucifixion. This apostle does not mention the lance in his description of the death of Christ. There's no mention of the lance in what Luke says about the death of Christ. All right, what about John? Ah, there. When they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they broke not his legs. But one of the soldiers oh, with a shimmering lance bit. pierced his side, and okay. forthwith there came out blood and water. And he that saw it bore witness, and his record is true, and he knoweth that he saith true, that ye might believe. A shimmering lance? What is this telling me? I gotta sleep. I think we have enough to get it, hopefully. Let's find out. So, a copper rimmed, uh, shiny metal, spear, fish. We can see that this lance has a leaf shape, and well, it's in gold. That's not I the one. I can see that a crucifix is engraved on the tip, just barely visible.
I can see that this lance has the shape of a boar spear. The blade is partially coated in copper, and I can just make out the symbol of the Eye of Ra engraved on the tip. There's no room for error. Am I sure this is the one to take? Oh, we definitely want to move back. At least we have enough information that we can actually beg and pick. Got to have a fish on the symbol. Oh, here, this one. This one. This might be it. I can see this lance has a spear shape. It is copper shape. rimmed. Copper rimmed. It has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. Okay, we'll leave that one. That's leaf shaped. We don't want that. Okay, it might be the one there, but I just want to check out a couple of the others, and we'll see. Ah, oh, jeez, there's so much just to search through this place. That's not it. Okay, I think this might be the one. Let's have a look. This lance has got a blade in the shape of a spear. Its blade is an iron or steel. No, that's not it. I can make out a rising sun and great. Oh, definitely the tip. not. My guess is it's this one. I can see this lance has a spear shape. It is copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. I must be sure of my choice. I cannot get it wrong. Am I absolutely sure this is the one to take? Let's just take the lance. Trader. Okay, join my mother at the wharf. Okay, we'll see you there at the wharf. Okay, well that looks like that concludes um, episode 4, quest 11, the spearhead. <laughs> I failed a few things. I didn't even find all the copies of the Lance of Longinus kept by Lord Mortimer. That's interesting. Okay, and I've not found all the clues enabling me to identify the Lance of Longinus. Interesting. Okay, well I was kind of didn't really want to <laughs> bother to be honest. Okay, so we'll leave it there. We'll do, um, I'll do quest 12 as a separate video. And so I think I'll upload these uh, Monday, Wednesday, and, and Friday. And I'll just do them as recorded videos. Hopefully, the recording on this one went okay with the volume and everything with the new microphone. And uh, yeah, I think I'll probably uh, go back to some Hollow Knight Live for Wednesday's uh, live stream. Okay. So uh, hopefully, see everyone there. Let me know what you thought in the comments and um, any, just any feedback is good. And I'm going to get ready tonight. Okay? Gotcha.